I'll tell you what the miracle is. The miracle is the miracle of consciousness. We have finished our reductio ad absurdum of consciousness into being something of the brain. We have opened to the possibility that there are other frequencies we exist on. There are other identities we have. There we are much richer as those beings that stand between earth and heaven than we give ourselves credit for. And the minute the, the, the setting changes enough, then everybody begins to recognize it because everybody has in us all of the clues we need to acknowledge these planes of existence where we're not busy denying them. It's other, in other words, you see yourself as ego, ego, soul, awareness. And as you begin to awaken into soul, you see how much the ego has been denying your own beauty and ignored so much information. So you and I are here on earth. The basic game is the game of awakening. The basic game is the game of becoming a free awareness. Because that free awareness is capable of being an instrument for the freedom of others. And that's where the root suffering is, being trapped. Our job is the work on ourselves. We then use all of our life experience. Once you've tasted of what's possible for the human being, you can't stop. And it goes from being Sunday morning to then you suddenly find yourself sitting quietly, now and then contemplating a tree. And after a while you find yourself more and more and more until you say, why is any part of my life exempt from this? I so want to be free and I so can taste that that's who I am, that why don't I use everything in my life as a vehicle to transform myself? So then you help somebody as work on yourself because the freer you become, the more you're really helping somebody feel the circle so you work on yourself not out of narcissism not out of screw everybody else I'm gonna work on myself you work on yourself as an act of compassion but you realize when you start to see it you can't work on yourself by making believe the rest of the world doesn't exist because that's gonna cost you so ultimately you have to find a way to make peace and for me to make peace means to be very much in the world in it all, and at the same moment, be sitting absolutely empty. And I'll tell you, once you can rest in soul awareness and understand relative reality, you can take chronic illness, you can take dying of friends, you can take all of the stuff, the loss of this and that, of people, of dreams, of all of it, and all of it can just bring you closer and closer to the truth of your being.